Hi, a short piping video for everyone out there. Um, posting this on YouTube just as for a customer, uh, but I uh, thought that it would be useful for others. So uh, I'm going to be doing a 2D piping example today, and I'm going to be selecting 60 inches. I'm using ductile iron here. I'm going to start off with a straight piece of pipe, so I'm going to double click here and I'm going to be choosing this open end fitting here and my first point left click and then I'm going to turn on ortho mode and then type in 60 feet enter allow for a gasket and I'm going to answer no to that because I don't uh, need gaskets there so let me zoom and now I have this 60 foot piece of pipe um, so 60 feet there. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get into the 2D piping again. I'm going to come down. I'm going to select the elbow here. Double click on this. But before I do so, I'm going to change this to 24. I'm going to be picking this uh, configuration here with the center point of the pipe and not the end point, the so center point. I'll be putting uh, the midpoint here, left click. At this point, it's just gonna want me to rotate it so uh, I can turn ortho on and then rotate it down. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a flange on the uh, bottom side there. So, click this. Now down here you can choose different kinds here that different types um, so I'm going to click this one here and I'm going to zoom down put my point here I'm just going to come down two inches so hover over and come down just two inches type two and that uh, starts my flange two inches away from the other and now I could continue on with the straight piece here. I'll choose this one. See the X there? That's the last point entered. Uh, a shortcut would be just to press the enter key, and that goes back to that point. Ask you for a gasket. I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to come down uh, three feet. Enter. Uh, yes on that one too. So I got a gasket at both both ends there. For this next uh, piece, I'm going to do a reducer. Um, so I'm going to go up into the piping menu again. Choose the reducer here. Double click. We got 24 to 20, which I'll, I'll accept. And then I'm gonna just click here. Again, it's uh, displaying the last point, so I can just press enter. And the direction is this way. Allow for gasket, yes. And then that draws the reducer in there for me. Now, if I wanted to hide this, this pipe here underneath this other one, I'll show you how to do that. So it's uh, called pick style. And we turn that to zero. And that, what that does is that ungroups the entities for us so that we can uh, do the trim here. So we're going to type TR for trim. And then we're going to trim the this this piece here. I suppose we could do this one as well. Now, don't forget to turn it uh, back on again, uh, because if you don't, uh, your bill of materials will not uh, be correct. So we'll just change it back to one. 
I suppose we could copy this down the line if we needed to. Um, so let me just enter another uh, 60 foot piece of pipe on the bottom here. I'll show you how to do that as well. So that they align. So we'll type in 60, double click. Choose this one. So we'll just come down. We'll just kind of project this down. I'll show you where this setting is so that you can project like this, how I'm doing here. Um, could also go up here and do the same thing if we wanted to. Press enter. No for gasket. So now we have a, another uh, 60 foot piece there. Um, I suppose I could have copied that down, but then I had the trim trimming that I did and I didn't want to show that down here. So let me just go ahead and draw a temporary construction line in here so that I align these. I'm going to show you a little trick here and I'm going to use the branches utility and the ducting. Um, for my size, uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose the 24 inch. For the length, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, 56 inches. Uh, for my direction, I'm just going to choose up. And then I'm going to draw. And the intersection that it wants, or the insertion point, is going to be right, right here at this intersection. My main duct diameter is, is shown at 5 feet. Uh, that's basically that 60 inches, so we'll need to type that in. And then I can just rotate it in there as shown. And then you'll get that uh, effect uh, there um, showing the uh, how it intersects the pipe. Um, if we wanted to modify this fitting a little bit, Again, you're going to have to ungroup it, which is the pick style. And change this to zero. We'll draw a circle in here. Twelve for the radius. and then trim this line out here. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, that's essentially how you would draw that in there. Uh, you could uh, uh, hand draw this if you wanted to, um, but uh, this is kind of the, the most direct way of doing that. Uh, some other setting that you might want to experiment with, it's in the options menu here. Um, you could turn off the uh, pipe wall, which is the uh, gray line that you saw there. And you could also turn off draw centers. Um, so those configurations are here in the options menu. As well, when I drew this uh, 60 uh, foot uh, piece here, I projected down using what's called snap tracking. Um, that setting you can find by right-clicking here, going to eSnap Settings, and then choosing this box here, and eSnap Tracking, it's called. So essentially what that does is, if I come over here and I draw another 60-foot piece of pipe, um, I can hover over just briefly and then project a line up. See the little dash green line there? Well, basically, I'm aligning it uh, without using um, construction lines. And I can do the same thing to this point here. Just hover over it briefly and then project it up like this. And that allows me to draw that in there without having to worry about alignment. So. Give that a try and let me know if you have any questions. 
and my number here is 888-271-7121. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.